members uh, at Productivity SA are on strike uh, starting from today. Uh, the reason for the strike is uh, because we deadlocked uh, on uh, uh, wage negotiations uh, with uh, Productivity SA. In this uh, negotiations, uh, our members uh, demanded 7.5% and management offered 4%. What worries us the most is that uh, our members at Productivity SA has not been receiving an, a wage increase since uh, 2020 until now. And uh, another thing that is also of concern to us is that uh, as and when we are negotiating the wage increase, the management decided to give themselves increase because we are of the view that if uh, Productivity SA were to come and tell us that they don't have money to give us a, a salary increase. It would not be correct, or it is not correct that uh, management themselves have given them increase, have given themselves increase. So we are on a strike uh, because uh, we deadlocked on wage uh, negotiations uh, with uh, Productivity SA. All right. So it's it's at the heart of it. It's a, it's a wage dispute. I have to ask, though, of course, because of of the uh, the big story in the media around the former productivity SA chair um, Tunziam Dwaba. Do you, as a union, um, have a position on this particular issue? Does this issue inform in any way your unhappiness at productivity SA? Our unhappiness is informed uh, by uh, productivity as a uh, not uh, uh, conceding or not moving uh, or coming closer to us in terms of wage negotiation. I'm, so I'm sorry, you've just broken up. Could you just start that sentence again? will realize that uh, workers carry our strike or what triggers our increase or salary increase. Uh, you will remember that uh, now currently uh, workers are affected uh, very badly by the inflation rate in the country. So we are of the view that uh, since we have not been receiving a uh, salary increase since 2020, we deserve anything above uh, uh, inflation in this uh, round of negotiations. So this is what is what triggered uh, us to embark on a strike that we are in starting from today. Productivity SA falls under the Department of Labor. What impact is your strike actually having? Oh, of course, looking at the responsibilities of Productivity SA, which is, uh, has to do with the employment growth and the productivity generally, and uh, in ensuring that uh, South Africa as a country become a, a competitive uh, out there, this strike will definitely impact uh, on the uh, job creation generally because uh, the more time we spend without uh, working because of the doings of the employer, the more our people will be affected in terms of uh, 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 unemployment is very high already. The more it will be a, 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 a dependent, the more we are not working. So we, 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 it is not in the interest of the country that we find ourselves in this situation, but the employer in the form of uh, productivity is, uh, is, forming, is forcing us to embark on this. Um, so... Right. So how many, how many workers do you represent at Productivity SA? At Productivity SA, in terms of membership of Nehau, we are representing 53 members uh, currently who are uh, members of Nehau. And then uh, we are talking about staff establishment that is less than 150. So we are representing members at, at that. Mm. Uh, our members are uh, 53 as we speak currently. And, and will you continue your strike tomorrow? We are definitely continuing with our strike. And then uh, we hope uh, the employer will come to their senses uh, as and when we continue with our strike. But I think we must register our concern uh, with regard to this. Uh, and uh, it is not... Uh, we don't, we don't feel we have to say this to a productivity essay which is linked to the Department of, of Labor. 
our concern is that when we started with our strike uh, this morning, we had uh, serious intimidation, and this is a protected strike. To an extent that uh, when uh, we expect productivity, say to understand what they must do if they are looking uh, our members out, members right. to access uh, the premises, uh, even if to use the bathrooms and also okay. the car parkings, particularly in KZN. So we believe that this, uh, this is a way of intimidating our members and uh, we are not going to allow that. Productivity is saying no better as to right. how they should uh, uh, behave under these circumstances. All right. Thank you very much for speaking to us, Vunani Masindi. He's the regional secretary uh, for the Nahawu uh, region, uh, which, of course, um, is Vuyani Mabakla. That's the name of the region, and he's the regional secretary for the National Education, Health and Allied Workers Union, telling me about the productivity SA strike, which started today. Still to come on SA.